Heavenly Father, I thank you for who you are. I thank you for your word. Lord God, fill this whole park up with your atmosphere. Fill this whole park up, Lord, with your angels. Uh, ministry angels, go to every single person in this park right now, Lord. And let your word just just, just go in this whole park and, and start blessing people, Lord. Because your word is life. So let's give life to people through your word. In Jesus' name, thank you. And help me to speak right and say it right, Lord. And understand it. And those watching the video, too. In Jesus' name, amen. So I'm going to read from John 17. Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven. So this is before Jesus decided to, before they, they captured him. He went and uh, this is actually the Lord's Prayer. This is the Lord's Prayer. A lot of people say that the Lord's Prayer is our Father that art in heaven. That's a sample. That's He's showing you how to pray. But the Lord's Prayer is right here because Jesus was Lord. And he's praying for everybody right here. He's praying for his disciples because he knows he's leaving. So in John 17, Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that your son may glorify you. As you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. Amen. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I have glorified you on the earth, I have finished the work which you have given me to do. Kids, stay over here. Over here in the circle, that's it. I have glorified you on this earth. I have finished the work which you have given to me. I want to stop right here. Did you hear that? Eternal life that they may know you. And this is eternal life, okay? That they may know you. The only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Tell him what I told you. Ben! Benjamin! Where's Ben? I'm on camera, so you need to get away from and go over there where I told you to go. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so eternal life is that they that you may know the only true God. Amen. What's up, bro? God bless you. What's up, brother? Come on, brother. Want a sandwich? Yeah. I got a couple pizza ones. Want a pizza one? Oh yeah, heck yeah. Right on, here's a napkin. Want a sandwich, bro? A regular one or a pizza one? What's a pizza one? It's got pepperoni and cheese. There's a napkin. God bless you guys. Thank you. Yeah, I was being, I forgot I had them. There you go, bro. God bless you. God bless you. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given to me. So that's what we're supposed to do. And as sons of God, with the Spirit of God in us, we're supposed to glorify God here. That's our job. To do everything we can to glorify Him. A lot of people are afraid and ashamed to glorify God, not me. I'm going to glorify Him every single day until I leave this planet. I have glorified you on this earth. I have finished the work which you have given to me. That's what we're supposed to do. Finish the work that God has given us. That's what it's all about. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. So Jesus was in heaven before the world was even created. John 17, 6. I have manifested your name. To the men whom you have given me out of the world. Amen. They were yours. You gave them to me. 
and they have kept your word. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Now they have known all the things which you have given me are from you. For I have given to them the words which you have given me. One sandwich, bro? God bless you. I got some prayers. You gotta go to the game. You ever had a home? You got like something going on in the game and stuff. You see people walk along with the home. I'll pray for them, bro, but right now, this is what we're doing right now. Seven days a week, right here. And then now the Lord's telling me I need to speak His Word. I need to... You know how a plant, even a plant beats. You know what I mean? It's got like a beat to it. That's the way it runs. It's like runs to the right. Amen. So Jesus is saying, Now they have known that all things which you have given me are from you. Amen. For I have given to you them the words which you have given me, and they have received them. You're welcome. God bless you. And have known surely that I came forth from you. Thank you. Right on, brother. Take care. You have given me, for they are yours. See, Jesus right here said, I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. I pray for them. Jesus says, I pray for them. You know, in the heavenly courts, your defendant is Jesus. In the heavenly courts, in the throne room, you got the perse persecutor, the, the prosecution, the devil, <coughs> talking bad about you on earth, what you're doing wrong. <coughs> then you got the defendant, Jesus. Defending you. But it's how you live in this world that you got to give him something to work with. You know? You can't give the devil something to work with. Always saying you're doing this, doing that. You got to give Jesus something to work with. So Jesus is going to say, Yeah, well, you know what? I don't care about that. He was doing this. He was doing this for the kingdom of God. He's helping people grow in Christ. He's making disciples. He's reading scripture at the park and feeding people. You got to give something for Jesus to work with. You know, we're supposed to be imitators of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> for I have given to them the words which you have given me. See, the, the, the things Jesus did, it came from God. And they have received them, okay? And have known surely that I came forth from you. And they have believed that you sent me. Okay, so Jesus, everything Jesus did came from God. What he spoke, the miracles, everything, what he did. Now, it says, and they have received them. The apostles, the believers, me, I received them. And I have known surely that, that I came forth from you. So, when you receive the words of Christ Jesus, when you get in your word, when you get in your word and you and you start to understand and you start to submit to the Father and, and put that word in your heart and in your mind, when you receive God's word, then you'll start to understand. Sure, you'll start to understand that Jesus is Lord and he is from God. I came forth from you and they have believed that you sent me. Just by receiving Jesus' word, we will know Jesus is King. Jesus is Lord. He's from God. God sent him. That's how we believe. Get in the word. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world. I do not pray for the world, but for those whom you have given me. For they are yours. So we belong to God. All, and all mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. Hallelujah. Now I am no longer in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to you, Holy Father. Keep through your name those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are. Lord God, help me to be one with you and Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ. Lord God, help me to be one with you. Help me to manifest Jesus in my walk, Lord. To bring people to the knowledge of Christ Jesus through you. Co-laboring with the Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you. 
Now I am no longer in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to you, Holy Father. Keep through your name those whom you have given me, and they may, that they may be one with one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Those whom you gave me, I have kept, and none of them is lost. Amen? Read John 17. This is absolutely beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I forgot my spot. Except the sons of perdition that the scripture must be fulfilled. Amen. I'm, st I'm stopping on 13. Hey, bro. Pizza? Yeah. God bless you. But now I come to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. See, Jesus gives us joy. Amen? Jesus. Yeah. Mama. kid. That they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Amen. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should, should keep them from the evil one. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. They are not of the world. Just as I am not of the world, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. God's word is truth. God's word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also may be sanctified by the truth. The word, yeah, yeah. The word is true. Uh, uh, True. Yeah. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also may be sanctified by the truth. I do not pray for, for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through the word. Did you hear that? God bless you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got to read that one again. It says, I do not pray for these alone. He's not just praying for his disciples and the apostles, the believers. He's, 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 he says, I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who believe in me through your word, through their word, that they all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me and the glory which you gave me, I have given them. Thank you for the glory, Lord. That they may be one, just as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that you, and that the world may know that you have sent me, and I have loved them as you loved me. Father, I desire that they also, whom you gave me, be with me where I am, <coughs> that they may behold my glory, which you have given me, for you loved me before the foundation of the world. O oh, righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you sent me. And I have declared to them your name, and I will declare it, that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them. Yeah. Glory to God. Hey, 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 hey. Glory to hey, God. Hey, hey. God bless hey, you, amigo. Hey. 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 Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your word, Lord Jesus. I just want to say that, you know, it's tough uh, um, doing this out here, but uh, it feels good. It feels good. It's hot. It don't matter. It feels good. It feels good. And if you were noticing, I was like coughing. That's how we get cleaned out. 
You know, there's a lot of people that don't believe that a Christian can have a demon. Well, you know what? We got to clean ourselves out regularly. And the good way to do it is to manifest Jesus as you're speaking the gospel, as you're laying hands, as you're doing the work for the kingdom of God. I love you and God bless you. Bye-bye.